And here we are in the suit of from uh, Texas. Can we tell who we got there? And that's uh, the commander, that's Rick Sterko, and uh, the pilot, Colonel Lee Archibald, getting his uh, boots laced up there. He's uh, the pilot. He's also one of the uh, this space station robotic arm operators. It's two hours, 55 minutes, 9 seconds and counting. It's the RSTS 117 flight crew. Off has occurred. Ground launch sequencer. Get off to Atlantis is on board computers. So this view is uh, in the commander's side window, George, looking across the uh, the flight deck, and uh, here we see uh, CJ laying on his back, looking. Uh, he's looking forward uh, through the uh, forward windows. Mike uh, Mike is standing on the aft window. We have some hard platforms that we put in place on those windows so that he can support he can support his weight while he's uh, helping the crew get strapped in and finishing the final checks. Okay, CJ, it took us a little while to get to this point, but uh, the ship's in great shape. It was beautiful weather day for you out there, so good luck. Godspeed. We'll see you back here in about 12 days or so. Five seconds. Yes, sir. Okay, so minute, 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 minute. Now, some pressure water system is activated. 15 seconds and counting. D minus 10, 9, 8, 7, remain in the start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Orbiter's in a heads down position, on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. All systems in good shape. Engines throttling down as Atlantis prepares to maneuver through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Already seven miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of five miles. Houston, Atlantis, go and throw up. Copy, Houston. 
One minute, 10 seconds into the flight, the three liquid-fueled engines are back at full throttle. At liftoff, the fully-fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half that liftoff weight in propellant. One minute, 30 seconds, all hydraulic systems in good shape. The electricity producing fuel cells also in excellent shape as Atlantis heads downrange. 18 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 18 miles. The next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters, which are burning propellant at a rate of 11,000 pounds per second. Main engine cutoff confirmed, 8 minutes 35 seconds into the flight. Separation of the fuel tank has also been confirmed. The crew handheld photography setup will be underway shortly with a plus X maneuver that's managed by the commander on board, Rick Sterko. 